Yeah, welcome to my Desi Wellness Kitchen, taking you to a different world of a snack or any time snack, an eggless omelette. Two different concepts. What do we serve that with? That's another secret. Stay tuned into this evening's cook show. Welcome. Good morning. Sat Sri Kaal. Jai Shri Krishna. Jambu Sana. You know, as a, as a channel. So always uh, promoting vegetarian food. So right in front of me, I've got a different array of mushrooms, vegetables, mixed peppers, uh, fresh methi. I've got gram flour, but I've also got tofu, I've got black beans, I've got black garlic. What am I doing with this? Two different concepts, serving that with an amazing kind of a salad that needs a little bit of preset. So I've got my pan here, hot. I'm going to pre-cook the vegetables first, which will be used in both the concept. In one concept, I will use black beans, in the other, I will not. One concept will go straight on the pan, the other concept will go into the uh, oven. So once I get one done, the oven will be switched on at the back. So welcome. So let's get this going. Adding in rapeseed oil, about a dessert spoonful. So this is a Punjabi puda, yeah, but it's a savory puda. I'll be adding in fennel, sauf, cooking that to bring that wonderful sweetness. Can you hear all the chuckling? Cumin seeds one teaspoon of each and I'm going to pre-cook my vegetables because they certainly need to be pre-cooked and they won't really take much time so I'll be adding in fresh uh, methi as soon as that's tempered through and it's already it will winter away We'll be adding the vegetables which are minutely cut. I've chosen mixed peppers, carrots, mushrooms and here is my gram flour. While the vegetables are going to be cooked, I'll measure enough to make one omelette. So about two dessert spoons full. Of sifted gram flour. So in this will be as uh, that's getting cooked, we'll be adding our vegetables. Mixed peppers finely chopped carrots probably half this is one carrot i won't be adding all of them mushrooms there were only four mushrooms and uh, they'll winter away uh, to really become quite miniaturized uh, cooking so this could be even done the day before you're going to work you've got a hectic day you don't know what you're going to have you know, we've got such diversity of Indian food that have been so, so shy and we've been shying away from our food while Gore have come in and explored our foods and they're smacking at it and causing it sweet and savory and beautiful and making, a, you know, mixed herb teas while we just put papa them away and thought the Indian spice tea was just for us until a sample was sent to a foreign country of a tea bag and that's where bags came into equation and Indian spice tea has been in equation for a long time billions of pounds are spent on tea why can't you make a fennel tea with soft that costs us 99 pence compared to 3 pounds 52 99 for 25 packs this is for youngsters to know that where did our food start from the chemistry of the food started from home kitchens dadima kitchens and we think Indian food is boring. I don't think I have bored any one of you. When I do traditional food, the really Punjabi food, it explodes. The women get excited. It becomes the talk of the Gurdwara. The Ras Malai was the talk of Graves and Gurdwara. <laughs> so, you know, that is the wonderful thing about our food. And we think, oh no, just leave it and let's get into uh, the base uh, in English food. Adding in salt half a teaspoon of everything garam masala half a teaspoon chilies to taste uh, 
I'll be adding in one teaspoon and a half and this is a very hot spicy chilies huh uh, you can make it even more spicy if you want to black pepper fresh I'm just going to cover this up and go on to my mix for my first uh, puda which is omelet made from gram flour okay for children who have got wheat intolerance you are celiac patient this is a great way to say what do I have for breakfast you get bored looking at uh, gluten-free flours and gluten-free cereals and cereal has never been an equation in my chemistry of food and you'd be surprised that it was something I never bought even for the kids right so I've got black garlic I'm not using white garlic because this could be an afternoon thing that you're doing so just to cut it you know it is like a licorice root it's much sweeter it does not give an aftertaste like normal garlic does much more powerful much more potent much more nutritional value and uh, I don't know if you guys have cherished into it but it's amazing it brings a wonderful sweetness to the food in here I'll be adding in nutritional flakes a tablespoon to bring taste to my should be like quite a heaped tablespoon one and a half teaspoon of flaxseed ulsi ground golden ulsi so here if you're thinking of adding protein to your food watch what I'm going to do in the second puda you'll be quite excited to know and then goes in three quarter teaspoon of uh, baking powder just going to keep an eye on my vegetables too I'm going to shut this because with the steam the vegetables are going to be cooked anyway and they smell wonderful so this is going to be my topping get rid of any water so your pan is dehydrating switching that off and letting them cook on its own I've got my pan ready here making all the mix here I'll add another teaspoon of uh, half a teaspoon of salt in this one is different to the vegetables but the nutritional yeast will also give it body giving that a good half a glass of water first get your consistency right and then add more okay I'm quite happy with this consistency just trying to mash down any thing I see in the black garlic so this will go directly onto my pan and then I'll be adding the vegetables on top so let's get the base going first of the puda tikka so we've got fiber we've got from the golden flaxseed we've got the black garlic which is great for your heart and cholesterol and blood pressure and we've got the nutritional yeast flakes to add more nutrition to the whole thing spread it out quickly and if you can see uh, it started to make bubbles which is a good sign and once it starts bubbling there after I see the bubbles rising from the top I will then add the vegetables on the top as you can see if you get the camera close you can see the air bubbles on it and that means it's getting cooked As this the the base is still semi raw on go the vegetables as little or as many as you want to so that base has been cooked we then take the other remainder flour and pour it on the top so we are sealing our, our vegetables in there so just circulate it start spreading your mix to super seal the inside of your vegetables and that was enough to make one puda so delicious you can take it to work what am I serving it with 
That'll be a mystery for you to keep watching the show. Something I've never done. Every bit matters because there, that little quarter teaspoon will help me seal my vegetables. So beautifully done underneath. So what I'm going to do is now uh, take a splash of uh, rapeseed oil and start splashing it on top. I can't use the brush physically because it, the, the, the kacha base of the gram flour will stick onto my puda. Okay, time to turn it over. Can't do it like a pancake. Wow, the smell is so aromatic. If only you were here to smell it. Leave that on low heat to cook. And that is the first puda, uh, which is done as thick, as thin, as nutritious, but all vegetarian being a, a cultural. And then we'll go on to the tofu black type pea in uh, puda, which is actually going to go into my oven. So I'm going to get my oven to preheat. While we leave this on very low heat, and you can start seeing it's becoming really bouncy and fat and all the rising agents have done the job. It's again, that's easy to lift off. Just to check, just leave it to cook. And if you have to press, just press it down to get any uncooked gram flour to cook. So as I was saying, our Punjabi food and Indian food is so diverse. There is so much you can do, so many varieties. I'm telling you, you kids, that maybe I'll leave your legacy to say, follow this. And can then, okay, it, the, the, the appreciation comes out many years later. Maybe so. But those who are already following it, I need to gratefully thank you. Those who give me wonderful comments after the cook show, graciously, it gives me a whole kind of enthusiasm to create something more, something exciting, something nutritious, something wonderful. Plating this and going on to the second part of my cook show of the tofu uh, omelette. Stay tuned. तो छे देशा विच देखे जा रहे अकाल चैनल दे कोल दुनिया रे किसे भी कोने तो लाइव या डी लाइव करन दी पूरी टेक्नोलजी मजूद है तो हाड़ा सारा प्रोग्राम हाई डेफिनेशन ते कवर किता जावेगा जे तुसी गुरु महराज जे पैगाम नू कार कार तार पुंचाणा चाहते हो ता आज ही प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्ड करवाओ ली संपर करो 077-027-48906 ते अकाल चैनल नू सब्सक्राइब करो नवी वीडियोस दी नोटिफिकेशन दे ले बेल आइकन नू क्लिक करना ना पुलना vegetarian omelette. You need the following ingredients. A three quarter cup of chickpea flour, one and a half tablespoon heaped of nutritional yeast, one and a half tablespoon heaped of ground flax seed, three quarter teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, optional, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of uh, red chilies, some black pepper. Mix all this in uh, one third cup of water, leave to set. Meanwhile, cook the following vegetables of your choice in one tablespoon of rapeseed oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, handful of fresh chopped methi, fenugreek leaves, mushrooms, finely chopped red, green, yellow peppers, finely chopped and carrots. Take a non-stick pan, add half a teaspoon of rapeseed oil, add the mix of the gram flour onto the pan and quickly spread it. Leave it on low heat 
when you see some air hole bubbles coming up put in the mixed vegetables which have been uh, garnished with salt chilies or garam masala to your choice add the garnished vegetables layer them quickly and then add the final few tablespoons about four tablespoons of the remainder of the mix sprinkle rapeseed oil all over on the sides and on the top top and turn over the omelet let that cook and serve that with a salad of your choice chutney of uh, mint with uh, sharon fruit and raw mango the second recipe was an omelet which was one third of the cube of the tofu dry it and uh, mash it down two heaped tablespoons of hummus i chose uh, two black garlics and two white minced garlic cloves add in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast salt black pepper chilies all about half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika two tablespoons of cornstarch or arrow root mix all these together take a skittle that will bear the temperature of an oven grease the skittle add in the tofu mix that has been properly mixed with the cornstarch leave that to firm down a little bit on the pan on very low heat meanwhile heat your oven at a 200 degrees place the skittle into the oven for for under eight minutes if you see it's browning fast take it out remove the kettle add in two tablespoon of hummus add in black eyed beans and all the mixed vegetables and then grate on cheddar cheese leave it brown it i served the whole both the omelets with cucumber hummus black eyed bean salad in that i took a copper pan glazed that with the cling film oiled it on the pan and then put in layers of cucumber all around the dish I pre-soaked a small handful of cranberries in hot water place that and then put in some more cucumber in my mixer I then used one third cup of uh, Philadelphia cheese with chives I used uh, one third cup of uh, sour cream for about three tablespoons a heaped of black eyed beans and about three tablespoons of uh, homemade spicy hummus blitz all that with a little bit of paprika and salt and I put it onto my uh, preset cucumber dish I then turned the dish upside down removed the cling film and if you cool it in the fridge this will set up quite firm or can serve it as it is where the hummus and the sour cream will still be soft to serve with the two omelets <music> Jiha, welcome back to the second half. Um, this food of mine, the first one is ready. So I'll be topping it over the other way around. Serving that wonderful with a wonderful base of hummus, chili hummus or the kind of hummus, but also with another wonderful uh, kind of setup I'm doing of a salad that I've never done. So let's get on to the other second concept. In this one, we have no gram flour. How's that for a change? So I've got a bigger bowl because I'll be mixing in quite a bit of stuff. So adding in my tofu mix, enough to make it into my skittle. I'll be using my skittle because this can take heat in the oven. So adding in my uh, fresh methi. I'm using two different concepts of garlic in this one, black and white. Tofu is very bland. So we need to add a bit of body in it. So add in two, at least one clove of uh, white two cloves of black because the black is going to bring the sweetness it's not like garlicky taste so that will give a wonderful sweetness now being tofu in goes in some paprika smoked paprika about a teaspoon mix seasoned spice just rock it in there because tofu fika 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 hunda just a quarter teaspoon of salt because do remember mixed spice also has got the salt effect in goes in my flaxseed one and a half tablespoon nutritional yeast one and a half tablespoon garam masala half a teaspoon and i'll be adding in my chili flake just about half a teaspoon to give it that wonderful taste mix all that up so here was the mixes that probably you have never done 
And because we don't have any flour base in this, we'll be adding in cornstarch. One teaspoon of cornstarch straight into the mix. This will help the binding process. You can use arrowroot. I have both in the kitchen. But I guess a lot of people have cornstarch. So here you can see it's already beginning to bind. And if there's any cornstarch left on the spoon, wipe it away. Give it a good thorough mix. Because let the cornstarch do its work. You can use your hands, but I shan't. Looking at my constitution, I might need some more corn flour. So I'd probably say a tablespoon, then a teaspoon. Something I'm making the first time. huh? Yeah, that gives it a, a firmer body. We need the firmness. Do remember, this tofu has been drained off the water. And there's firmness in that. It's firm, tough tofu. The brands can be whatever you wish to pick up. So just the taste of this on its own will be so delicious. Going away from flour, we are so flour based community that wheat itself is a big issue for diabetics yet. Diabetics main source of food is bread, cereal, some you know biscuits in the morning that they dip in milk to make it as kind of a mushy cereal while wheat is one of the biggest killers uh, for knocking off the biggest most important mineral to break up your sugars. So if you can see now that the cornstarch has done its work. Here my skittle is hot, should be piping hot. Going to generously put in some oil, spread it out all around the edges as well. This mix will go directly, then goes on the topping and we then at the top I'll put in the black eyed beans, which is again a high protein. So spreading it out quickly and evenly, better than making a paneer pratha, isn't it? Enough, just that one third tofu brick was enough to make one puda. I'm going to stab it down. There we are. Wow, smells delicious. Switch that off. Stab it down. So let the the corn flour do its job. Taking a drizzle of rapeseed oil, putting my finger, hygienic still, but uh, maintaining that my finger is washed. Yeah. Now taking my vegetables, checking that if they're ready. For about, uh, just wait for the firmness. For about five minutes, I'll be putting this in the oven, taking it out again. And then uh, I have to remember this skittle will get very hot uh, when I use it. Right now it is warmish. Let me not take a chance. So this will go into my oven. Two hundred degrees drop down, and let that cook for about ten minutes. And then we'll go into the salad portion of this part of the recipe. So one puda is ready. Let's go into the second portion of the recipe. So while that is going to be made, I'll be just cooking. I'll be adding the hummus and the topping on top. I'm taking in and making a different salad of a kind, which is kind of uh, pre has to be set up a little bit before serving. Just greasing my whole base tin. Use anything to serve as many members as you want to. This kind of salad would serve a good three people. I'm lining my base of my tin and probably doing a double layer of my cling film. Layer it down properly. Okay, G. I've got my organic cucumber. I'll be slicing that very thin. The whole of my base will be teared with cucumber. So going across as finely as you can. Okay, so going on to the top of my and keeping as close as possible, Tika. My whole tin has to be laid. Keeping an eye on my bake as well. Okay, 
So I am getting it out now as it is browning. The skittle will be very hot. There we are. I will be now putting all the topping on this one. That's a good enough amount of topping. Taking humus, which I've made before, there are some things you already know that I don't need to give you information about. Using a bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. Adding in the smoked paprika, about half a teaspoon. Give it a good mix. So who says this is not protein then? Right from start to finish, looking at the wonderful vegetables as well. I want to show the vegetables, so I'm not going to cover the whole humus. I want this to be seen when you break into it. Never tasted a puda of this kind. I've got one of the most amazing qualities of good quality mature cheddar cheese. This is not the kind of cheese you guys get. If you've ever tasted this brand cheese, you'll say, oh my God. So taking my cheese and grating it straight onto my, that's telling my oven is ready. Spread this out. Adding in a few black eye beans with the mix because we want it to be seen. Protein again. I'm running for protein again and again. And just stab it down so the beans actually stay there in the process of you cutting. This kind of thing can be considered literally for a meal for two people. Very, very delicious. This is going to go into the plating, uh, browning section into the oven and we'll go into the plating in a short uh, space of time. Stay tuned. Jiha, omelette is done nice and brown. You can make it browner if you so wish, but I wouldn't want to cook it so much to kill the cheese. I will leave that to set for a while and cool down and we'll probably have to serve it uh, a wee bit later once it's cooled down. So I won't be plating this but need to put it in a rack. I've got a wonderful khatta mango, Sharon fruit chutney here to serve that. But going in with another wonderful concept, which is such a quick blitz. Here I've got my setting of my cucumber, placing down my cranberries, which were soaked in water, placing more cucumber all the way around. And then I'm taking in my mix humus, which I've already prepared with chilies in the mix three tablespoons heaped of black eye beans i've got my quinoa which i've already boiled so i'm going to layer another layer of quinoa, uh, uh, quinoa here first so again quinoa is wonderful for a grain but not as in rice so taking in a third pot of Philadelphia cheese with chives, sour cream, about a third of the sour cream. You can go for half fat sour cream. All this is going to be blitz, going to go into my uh, mixer and that would be then just adding a little bit more of oomph as in herbs mixes. Set it up, ready to plate. Done. So I'll be adding in mixed paprika, bit, half a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of garam masala and that's going to go into my mix here. When you leave it to set for a wee while, it's going to get hard. Okay, so we take our dish and whatever I'm going to be presenting this in, using a black dish so this radiates a lot more. I'm taking my dish, putting it upside down. This does need to go into the fridge and dab it down. And as I do, I take off the 
cucumber setting and that could be a party dish anywhere where you see a cucumber is missing add that on serve that with anything that you want to i'll take a few dried apricots and just chop them down in the middle and then just take a bit of paprika smoked on the sides because this cucumber we can just and that i hope you have enjoyed this amazing two puda recipe serving that with a wonderful uh, uh, raw mango sharon fruit chutney and an amazing set take care of yourself and each other goodbye and sat sri akal अकाल चैनल सबसक्राइब करो नवी वीडियोज की नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बैल आइकन क्लिक करना ना भूलना